हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ सागर चौकसी फ्रॉम एलजे इंस्टीट्यूट्स ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी सो इन प्रीवियस सेशन वी हैव स्टार्टेड लिस्ट स्क्वायर मेथड एंड दैट वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड ओके सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मूविंग एवरेज मेथड सो इन टुडे सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डेफिनेशन और प्रोसीजर ऑफ मूविंग एवरेज मेथड एंड न्यूमेरिकल ऑन मूविंग एवरेज method so let's start the lecture that related to moving average method so first of all what do you understand by moving average method okay so here i have attached one video that related to forecasting ultimately it is the types of sales forecasting method so it is the combination of two words moving and average so what do you understand by moving average method so in this method the average of certain period is taken okay average of certain period is taken for example 2 month moving average for example 3 month moving average for estimating the future demand okay this is what moving average method okay so the relationship is given by moving average is equal to sum of sales data of certain period divided by number of period okay this is the basic equation to find out the forecasting okay moving average that is equal to sum of sales data of certain period divided by number of periods okay this is the basic equation so for example a1 a2 up to a10 are the demand for 10 period 10 number of month you can take 10 number of month okay so then moving average is given by what is the equation of moving average method moving average is equal to sum of sum uh, of sales data okay so here i have taken a1 a2 up to a10 so a1 plus a2 plus a3 up to a10 divided by number of period number of period that is 10 so this this is moving average method the equation that is very important to solve the forecasting okay so this is what moving average procedure so let's start the numerical on moving average method so first of all here i have attached one data that related to moving average numerical for the following given data calculate forecast for 11th month using 2 month moving average and 3 month moving average method so here i have attached one table that related to moving average method so here there are 10 different month and there are 10 different demand actual demand so in first month 10 total number of quantity that is given 10 okay actual demand that is given 10 for example in second month 12 number of quantity is given tenth month you have given 15 quantity okay so now what you have to do here you have to find forecasting for 11th month by the by using two month moving average and three month moving average method so here i have attached one table that related to moving average method so let's start the example so here i have attached five column first column that is given in data month up to uh, from first month to 10th month number 2 the second column that is actual demand that is all also given from the data in first month you have given 10 quantity in second month you have given 12 quantity up to 10th month you have given 15 quantity so now what you have to do you have to find out uh, uh, forecasting for 11th month okay by using two month moving average and three month moving average method so now what you have to do here i have attached three column first column is two month moving average number fourth column is th three month moving average uh, or three month moving total and fifth column is three month moving average so now what you have to do what how to find out two month moving average so now you have to find two month moving average okay so now what you have to do take first two month okay first month and second month in first month you have given 10 quantity in second month you have given 12 quantity so 
10 plus 12 that is 22 you have to find moving average so 22 divided by 2 month so 22 divided by 2 that is 11 so in 2 month moving average in first month I have put dash because you have to find 2 month moving average ok so in first month I have put as a dash in second month you have to find out 2 month moving average that is 11 12 plus 10 divided by 2 so that is 11 so now in third month you have to find out 2 month moving average ok now take second month and third month in second month you have given 12 quantity in third month you have given 8 quantity so 12 plus 8 that is 20 ok divided by 2 so that value is 10 ok so I have put in third month as a value 10 ok so 2 month moving average that is 10 ok so now move forward to fourth month if you want to find 2 month moving average take previous 2 months fourth month and third month you have given the quantity as 8 and in fourth month 11 so 11 plus 8 that is 19 19 divided by 2 that is 8 uh, 9.5 so in fourth month i have put it 9.5 okay so up to 10th month okay up to 10th month take 9th month and 10th month quantity so in 9th month you have given 16 quantity in 10th month you have given 15 quantity so 16 plus 15 that is 31 and 31 divided by 2 so that is 15.5 so here I have attached in 10th month as a value of 15.5 so this is 2 month moving average method so now in 3 month moving average here in 4th column and 5th column now what you have to do in 3 month moving total take first 3 month first second and third so the value is actual value or actual demand is 10 12 and 8 so now what you have to do 10 plus 12 plus 8 so that value is 30 so I have put 30 in third month because we have to find 3 month moving total so in first month I have put a dash in second month I have put dash ok so in 3 month moving average in third month I have put 30 value in third month ok so now what is the average value what is the 3 month moving average so 30 divided by 10 sorry 30 divided by 3 so that value is 10 ok so in third month 3 month moving total the value is 30 and 3 month moving average value is 10 so now take 4th month ok in 4th month we have to find out 3 month moving total and 3 month moving average so now take previous 3, uh, three month ok so 2nd, 3rd and 4th in 2nd the value is 12 in 3rd month the value is 8 and in 4th month the value is 11 so now what you have to do 3 month moving total so 12 plus 8 plus 11 that value is 31 31 divided by 3 so, so that value is 10.33 so in 3 month moving total I have put 31 in 4th month and in 3 month moving average I have put 10.33 in 4th month so move forward to 10th month for the 10th month take previous 3 months 8, 9 and 10 so take actual demand of uh, 8 month, 9th month and 10th month ok so the value is 14, 16 and 15 so 3 month moving total that is 14 plus 16 plus 15 so that value is 45 so I have put 45 in 3 month moving total now if you want to find out 3 month moving average then 45 divided by 3 so that value is 15 so in this way we can find out this value ok we can prepare this table so forecast for 11th month that is 15.5 for 2 month moving average and 15 for 3 month moving average now how to find this value for 2 month moving average and 3 month moving average so in 10th month you have find out 15.5 in 2 month moving average ok so now you can predict that in next month 
you can definitely produce 15.5 product same as in three month moving average okay you have already find out the value is 15 in 10th month uh, in 10th month okay so you can predict that in 11 month you can definitely produce 15 product so this is what moving average method this so that as the number of period is increasing the accuracy is also increasing okay thank you thank you so much in this session we have completed moving average method okay so in next session we will start exponential smoothing method so thank you thank you so much